Miles Straw will enter the game in center field as Dusty Baker tightens up his defense. That moves Springer over to right. So it's Tucker Straw and Springer in the outfield now. And the new pitcher, the Astros closer in a 7 4 ball game, game six, ninth inning. It's going to be Ryan Presley pitching in his third consecutive game for the first time this season. He's gotten seven outs in the last two days on 30 pitches. He'll face Joey Wendell to start it. Rays need two base runners to bring the tying run to the plate. Hey, ah. Zunino, the scheduled hitter next. Looks like Yoshi Tutsugo has moved on deck. But it all starts right here. The Rays do get the Astros closer in the game. That sharp breaking ball. Yeah, that's what I was going to be interested to see how that's his best pitch. Went to one for three off him, but that was a good one. No balls, two strikes. Wendell hitting in the eighth spot in the raise order. And down he goes. Presley comes in and wipes him out on three pitches. Out number one for the Astros here in the ninth inning. Our aerial coverage tonight provided by Goodyear celebrating the endless pursuit of forward momentum. Goodyear more driven. One out for Ryan Presley. Presley with an inning in the third. And a couple of strikeouts. Tutsugo hit a line shot off of him. That was caught in right field. And that is through for a base hit. So two days later, Tutsugo finally finds one to get through, and there's one base runner for the Rays. Remember that tomorrow if Presley ends up pitching four days in a row. Well, that's too good at bats. Just missed a home run the other night, game four. First pitch fastball, he was ready for it. Presley had thrown the first pitch fastball to Wendell. Tutsugo. Base runner with one out. Now the tying run on deck. Mike Brasso at the plate. The Rays have their best hitter in this postseason on deck. If Brasso can get a Rosarena to the plate. With a chance to tie it with one swing of the bat. Activity in the Astros bullpen now. But Presley for sure has the next two hitters as Brasso cuts and misses. It's 0 2. Presley's mad at himself. He hung the slider there, so behind the mound, think about it. Back to business. See him shaking his arm out. Russell hanging tough. Astro scored two runs in the top of the seventh inning to take a seven to one lead. Margo homered in the bottom of the seventh. It was seven two. And then Margot hit a two run home run in the eighth to make it 7 4 and force Presley in the game. And now the Rays are a base runner away from bringing the tying run to the plate. No balls, two strikes on Mike Brasso. Now this has been such a just weird flow to this game. Sloppy, I mean, yeah. I feel like Houston is absolutely. Dominated this game yet. If Brasso can get on base, you bring the hottest hitter in baseball up with a chance to tie the game. Yeah, you're blooping a blast yeah. away. Well, you guys have been touching on it here in these, you know, through the middle innings when when the Astros got the big lead. Now it just becomes, who can you get on the mound? How many pitchers can you roll through? Can you get some confidence at the plate if you're Tampa Bay? And they've done all that. This is not comfortable for the Astros as Brasso on the ground. Got a chance to turn a double play, and Altuve's throw is there. 
It's a double play to end it. 6-4-3 on the double play ball. They will probably want to take a look at this in review. It looked like Guriel was able to keep a toe on the bag. And if so, if it goes as called, the game is over and we'll have a game seven. They'll always look at this play, though. Good toss by Correa up the line a little bit by Otuve, but his foot gets down he on just time. Just got it down in time. And the Astros are going to force a game seven. Guriel, a superb first baseman. It wasn't a great throw by Altuve, but Guriel able to maintain contact with the bag. They'll make this call pretty quickly. He just saw the replay on the big board to Guriel. He knows it. And the umpire to tell the guys even because he saw <laughs> Presley and them pump their fists. Say no. Let us call it first. Yeah, he's on the bag. You know, we've talked all about the offense today for Houston. But think about this series. They're starting pitching, 32 innings pitched, only seven earned runs. It's an ERA under two. They're the reason why they might, why they are going to a game seven. Doesn't it feel appropriate that this game's going to end on a review like this? It's been a strange game. Long grind about slog of a game. They're taking a long look at this just to see if Guriel's foot was on the bag. The, the, the key thing to note here the call on the field is out. Yeah. So there has to be conclusive evidence to overturn here. And I'm not sure. Unless you have a there. dead sideways view to yeah. see. I mean, to up, me, it's pretty. Up the line. You're yeah. Right. Here comes yeah. the call. And the crew chief says out, out, and that's a ball game. The Houston Astros have won three straight, and they have forced a game seven in this American League Championship Series. Presley notches the save. Romer Valdez picks up the win for the Astros. And the Astros are alive and well. And here we go to a game seven, fellas. Think about it, Brian. Romer Valdez joins Jose Rio and Joaquin Andujar as the Dominican pitchers to win three games in a single post. Tomorrow we're either going to see history for the second time or we're going to see the best team in the American League come back yep. and get a win. It's going to be exciting.